I'm Kyle Scora, and this is my comprehensive running belt review. Why would anybody wear a running belt? I like to carry my phone with me while I'm running. Also, it's nice to carry different types of nutrition within the belt rather than having to hold on to it. First up is a Running Belt Max. This is the largest of the bunch. It features a pretty standard adjustable belt, but where this shines is the large pockets. You'll see that they have compartments in them. Even though this is a big pocket, things aren't gonna get jumbled and messed up. I find myself using this most often on longer trail runs where I might want something more substantial for fuel rather than a gel or a gummy. Uh, trail mix, for example, fits really well in here. Uh, baggies of raisins or dried fruit. Um, this holds stuff like that really well. So that's how I like to use this. Uh, longer trail races or runs where I might want a little bit uh, extra with me. Next up is the Spy Belt. This is a very minimal, fairly lightweight option. It has a stretchy belt, also clips, it's also adjustable. The pocket is really small, yet it really expands. iPhones have no problem fitting in here. The, uh, the material is fairly waterproof, so the phone's not gonna get wet. I've never had any issues with it. Um, zips up quite well. There's a little there's a little pocket here for the zipper, so it stays quiet. Um, this is a really good, fairly minimal option. You're not going to fit a ton in this pocket. Uh, a phone and two gels is about it, but that's going to be enough for most runs. Another similar option is this belt from Fuel Belt. Flexible, adjustable. It uh, clips on the side here rather than all the way behind you. It's a little thing, but I find myself liking that. This differs from the previous two belts in that it's more of a solid um, structured back and then this has the, uh, the pocket kind of in front of the belt. This is by far the lightest, uh, very breathable. This is a little larger of a pocket than the spy belt. And then we have two fairly comparable options, the flip belt and the Nathan Hipster. Both are uh, simple belts. They have no elastic, no adjustability. You buy based on your uh, waist size. The Nathan is two pockets, one in the front, one in the back, and it opens like this. And the flip belt, on the other hand, is basically a tube. It's one whole pocket, and it has slits where you slide your, uh, your gels or your phones into that. So both have advantages. This one's a little wider. It might feel a little more secure on you. However, this one's nice because it has way more space. It's a pocket all the way around. So that's my belt review. Lots of options out there. Find other reviews. Ask your friends. Pick the one that's best for you. I like different belts for different days, different types of runs. These tend to soak up sweat. So really hot runs. I don't like to use the, uh, the fully cloth ones. Like I said, this one holds a lot. So I love this for long trail runs where I want more uh, substantial fueling with me. And these two are very lightweight. I tend to use these for my races, tempo runs, hard workouts. They don't bounce because they're adjustable. They're very lightweight and they hold just enough for a phone and some calories. What belt do you use? Ask questions, leave comments below, and check us out at scorerunning.com.